Hey y'all, welcome to Miss Clark's chemistry class. Are you struggling with how to classify matter? I'm gonna show you all my hacks for that. So let's talk about matter first. So matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Whether that's a large amount of space or a teeny tiny amount of space, if an object has mass and volume, it is considered matter. We classify matter in two main groups. There's pure substances and mixtures. First, let's talk about pure substances. Pure substances are pieces of matter that are in their most simplified form. And when we're talking about pure substances, there's two types of pure substances. We have elements and compounds. Both are called pure substances. First, let's start talking about elements. Elements are considered the basic building blocks of all matter. Now I know your teacher said atoms are the most basic building block of all matter, but elements and atoms, same thing. So you see we've got several different elements here. We've got iron, magnesium, copper, silicone, and sulfur. These are all found on the periodic table and that is why they're considered basic building blocks. If we look at the iron, for example, all of the particles in this container are made of nothing but iron atoms. The same thing with the magnesium. Even though iron is in a powder form and magnesium is a strip of metal, and then copper is even like BBs of metal, these are all composed of one type of atom. That's what makes them an element. That's what makes them a pure substance. So let's talk about compounds also a pure substance. They're made up of two or more elements that are chemically bound together. Here are some examples of compounds. Compounds are also pure substances because they are two or more elements chemically bound together. And you cannot separate them. They are practically fused together. We would have to do a chemical reaction if we wanted to separate these elements. But if you notice in the compounds, there's two capital letters, two elements. This one we have one, two, three capital letters, three elements. Chemically bound together, that's what makes it a compound. Compounds would link together to make bigger pieces of matter. So compounds are still considered to be pure substances, basic building blocks. So let's talk about the second classification of matter, mixtures. A mixture is a physical blend of matter. So let's look at an example of a few mixtures. Here, remember, we have salt, NaCl, and water, H2O. And if we take our water, and if we mix some salt, and we mix it together, we've got a mixture of salt water. And we've all experienced salt water in some shape or fashion. We've all experienced salt water, whether it's accidentally tasting our salt or being at the ocean and tasting a little bit of salt water we know that it tastes salty. This mixture retains the original properties. Salt is still salty and water still has its own characteristics. Mixtures can also be a mixture of elements and elements. Here we've got copper, we've got some silicone, and if we put these in the same container, these elements are sharing the same space at the same time. We would consider this to be a mixture of elements each retaining its own original properties. Nothing has changed. The copper still has its own properties. The silicone still has its own properties. And a mixture can also be composed of a compound and an element. Here, remember we've got sulfur. Here we've got lead nitrate, element, compound. And if we mix those together, and kind of blend them together, you see, nothing is really happening. They're sharing the same space at the same time, but they're not chemically joining together. They each stay separate and retain their own properties. And that is how you classify matter. If that helped, press the like button. If you need me to make a specific video just for you, make sure and leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, y'all.